Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. President. Members of the House and Senate. My fellow Americans. I will be brief for our time is necessarily short and our agenda is already long. Last year's congressional session was the longest in peacetime history. And with that foundation, let us work together to make this year's session the best in the nation's history. Let this session of Congress be known as the session which did more for civil rights than the last hundred sessions combined. As the session which enacted the most far-reaching tax cut of our time. as the session which declared all-out war on human poverty and unemployment in these United States. As the session which finally recognized the health needs of all of our older citizens. as the session which reformed our tangled transportation and transit policies. As the session which achieved the most effective, efficient foreign aid program ever. And as the session which help to build more homes and more schools and more libraries and more hospitals than any single session of Congress in the history of our republic. All this and more can and must be done. It can be done by this summer. And it can be done without any increase in spending. In fact, under the budget that I shall shortly submit, it can be done with an actual reduction in federal expenditures and federal employment. We have in 1964 a unique opportunity and obligation to prove the success of our system to disprove those cynics and critics at home and abroad who question our purpose and our competence. If we fail, if we fritter and fumble away our opportunity in needless, senseless quarrels between Democrats and Republicans, or between the House and the Senate, or between the South and the North, or between the Congress and the administration, then history will rightfully judge us harshly. But if we succeed, if we can achieve these goals by forging in this country a greater sense of union, then and only then 
can we take full satisfaction in the state of the union?